Walking deep into the rainforest, a man found an ugly creature and took it home. Months later, he didn't believe what the unsightly animal transformed into, and you wouldn't either. Each year, there are people from all over the world that would like to travel to the Amazon rainforest. It's a magical place that is unlike anything else on Earth. Many believe that there are still many remedies and herbs in there that could solve illnesses, and others even believe that there are healing properties to just being inside the rainforest. At the same time, there are a lot of ways that you can meet your end in the Amazon. People that don't know the area really shouldn't be exploring it on their own. There are a lot of dangers in the rainforest. Some insects can carry diseases, many plants can be toxic, and let's not forget the wild predatory animals like jaguars, caimans, and anacondas. Tourists are normally discouraged from traveling in the area on their own because the area is just too dangerous. But there are many tour guides that know the area well and they can help you tour the forest safely. But the man in our story today didn't need anyone else to show him the ropes. Jorge grew up in Brazil and his family often walked in the rainforest and explored it. His father taught him about the different plants and how to differentiate between plants that are dangerous and plants that aren't, and how to keep his eyes open for dangerous animals or toxic insects. Even as an adult, Jorge kept going for long walks in the forest and he loved how free these walks made him feel. He loved the peace of the forest where you could smell the earthy tones and listen to the sounds of nature. He was taking a long hike one day when he sat down to take a rest. Underneath the bushes, he saw that there was a little creature lying on the soft ground. He had no idea what the ugly little thing was and he needed to make sure that it wasn't dangerous, so he took a little stick and moved the leaves out of the way. The creature had a huge head and the spots that Jorge thought were probably her eyes weren't even open yet. She was probably one of the ugliest creatures that Jorge had ever seen, but he could see that she was helpless. If he left her there on the forest floor, she would have no chance of making it. So carefully as he could, he placed the little animal in his jacket pocket and carried her home. He just hoped that he wouldn't regret his decision later on. At home, he tried to search for the type of animal that this little creature could be. For all of his internet searches, he found out that it had to be a chick, but he still didn't know exactly what kind it was. However, knowing that it was a chick, Jorge could get some baby bird food and help to feed the little animal. Hopefully, it would eventually become at least a little less ugly. All of Jorge's friends that saw the little creature told him to take it to a vet and leave it there. It was taking a lot of time to feed and care for it, and they didn't see the ugly chick as being worth all that effort. But Jorge refused to do that. He didn't know what it was about the little creature. It definitely wasn't the looks, but maybe it was how completely dependent she was on him, but he couldn't abandon her. He named her Fern, and she was his now. Whatever that meant, he just wished he knew what she was so he could care for her even better. She grew, but her feathers didn't really come in as they should. The vet was far away and only came to Jorge's town every few months. Since he read that birds could become very anxious and easily get sick from stress, he didn't want to make the little fledgling travel all that way. He took care of her the best way he could and she was making some progress, which meant he had to have been doing something right. After a few months, she still hadn't gotten any feathers and some of the townspeople started to tell Jorge that the bird might be bad luck. They even believed that she could be trouble. The speculation was wild and Jorge wouldn't believe a word they said until some strange things started happening in his own home. The television would be off, but he would still hear the tune from his favorite show or his mother would come for a visit and it would feel like he could hear her in his head for days after that. It was very strange and his friends all believed that it was because of Little Fern. They again told him to get rid of the bird, but Jorge was having none of that. He didn't believe that Fern was the cause of all these strange things happening, or at least he tried not to believe their crazy accusations. He couldn't be sure but he was certain that he had bonded with her and she had bonded with him too. 
Fern was very scared of other humans, and she would shy away if they tried to pet her bald little head. But with Jorge, she just loved getting scratched and adored. He would open the water to the tap just a little, and she would play and jump around. Since her feathers hadn't come in yet, she couldn't fly or even flutter, but she jumped around on her two little legs. And she was becoming really sassy. Jorge had a dog, but if the dog got too close, Fern would flap her featherless wings and chase him off by making a big noise. She ruled the house now, and everybody just had to get used to it. For now, Jorge carried her all over the house. She even started to beg him for his food, and when it was something fine for a bird to eat, he was happy to share. In all, he had gotten a pretty great companion that day out of the Amazon forest. If it just wasn't for the fact that she wasn't getting prettier, but even though he didn't mind so much, the fact was that all the strange things started happening right around the time that Fern came to live with him. Finally, it was time for the vet to visit his town. He hoped that she would be able to give him some answers about the strange little creature who was living in his house. The vet was happy to see the bird, and she explained that baby Fern would surely not have made it if Jorge hadn't helped. In most cases, it's better not to take a wild animal out of its natural habitat or to phone a rescue that works with these animals, but since neither of these options were available, Jorge did the best he could. The vet also explained that it made sense she was laying on the forest floor. She had some severe deficiencies, and left in the wild, she would never have made it. Her parents must have known that and rejected her. But luckily for Fern, she now had the help of a vet. The vet gave her a bunch of supplements and said she would be growing feathers in no time. But when it came to telling Jorge what species Fern was, she just smiled. She promised he would soon know when her feathers started to grow. When he explained about all the strange occurrences, the vet just laughed. She had an explanation for this too. Fern was a type of parrot who was great at mimicking sounds and voices. He was hearing the bird the entire time. Jorge left the vet a lot more at ease. He knew that his friend was going to be okay. And just as the vet had promised, her feathers soon started coming in. He was shocked to see that Fern was a macaw, one of the largest and most expensive bird species in the world, not to mention one of the most beautiful. It was a good thing Jorge had grown attached to the ugly little creature that turned into a gorgeous bird. Lucky for him, he would have Fern around for about 75 years to keep him company. Thank you for watching. Join us again for even more incredible stories.